Hey, it's me, Javine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Dark Souls Remastered. In the last episode, we were dealing with the painted world of Ari Ariamis, and as I said, this place has a lot of PvP to it. Uh, so we got invaded and killed, and we have, to, we have to do all of this over again. Really, dude? Really? No. No. Okay, so we're just gonna try to get back to where we were. We're gonna move past all of these phalanx enemies. We gotta clear out the central area. Should give him a little love tap. Uh, we gotta clear out the central area, and then we have to clear out the, uh, the, the, the thing that's past this door. Actually, well, with that, ha that, that has to wait for last. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second here. But we wanna go out. The undead dragon should still be dead. And we got killed here in PvP, so we need to obviously grab our souls. Yoink. Okay, this place is a little interesting. Hup. Um, yeah, we need to... There's, like, I think one or two more items in the central area here. That I need to make sure to grab. But let's get this. Large soul of a proud knight. And then let's get this. Blood shield. And then the... This is the legs. This is the legs of the undead dragon that we just killed right here. I think... Doesn't it do something? Or no? I don't think you can kill it even though it is giving me, like, kind of a hit register. Uh, like a little bit of vibration. Or I guess no vibration. It's just, um, kind of just, I, I don't know, the sound makes me think that. Something about the sound is, is basically registering that this is a hit in my head, if that makes any sense. As opposed to something that we just can't attack. But yeah, I don't think you can kill this. Uh, it's a weird, I don't know, it's a weird undead dragon that exists in multiple spots. Now, I do think that we can drop down, can't you? Or no? If you can't, then that is a skip. Like, for a speed run or something. Yeah, I think there's an area where you can literally drop off on one of the sides to get to the lower bridge area. Uh, that is not intended at all. The developers don't want you to do that, so it's literally a way to skip to the boss here. Not here. Literally a way to skip to the boss uh, quicker. If we drop down there, we're dead. That's kind of mean for them to put, like, a little break there, because it totally looks like you should drop down. Okay, yeah, we, now we have to get the final few items that are over here. And otherwise, I think we got everything outside of the... Outside of the, uh, downstairs area, which we're gonna use the... How do we get that dang thing, is what I'm wondering. I can't walk this, and if I drop down, I think we're kinda screwed, so I'm not even gonna attempt it. And that item, yeah. We're missing, like, two or three items right now. And unfortunately, all these crows are gonna respawn, right? Maybe we have to go to the top and drop down from there? Which I think is... Yep, here we go. Okay. Let's try to get them to attack. It's gonna do another one. Okay, this is really, really, really precarious. He's gonna jump down, probably kill himself. Nope. That was bad. Okay. There should be like three more. Now, how do we get to that item down there? Okay. Cannot fall here. Okay, just don't spaz out whatever you do. Do I literally just jump over to that? I am completely freaking blanking. Maybe I have to get to the top. I guess we'll just try to get to the top. I'm, com I'm completely freaking blanking on how to get over to that item. Do we drop down over here? I don't want to kill myself. This does not seem intentional in any way, shape, or form. And also, I am stuck. Okay, let's take a sip. I feel like it's glaringly easy, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to jump over here. This is definitely not intentional. Oh boy. How in the world do we get those two items? This is so odd. That one right there. And then the other one. I don't know. We have to use an Estus to drop back down here. I'm gonna try to land on this little recess. Uh, not even close. Oh, man, I am really, really, really curious as to how in the world we're supposed to do this. I I mean, I remember getting all of the items. I just am totally blanking. Um, yeah, there's not even like a... I mean, there is kind of like a break. Are we supposed to go back here or something? No, that doesn't even lead to anywhere. Hi. Come on, man. How in the world is that going to miss? Seriously? Like, for real? That hitbox was so big. 
How in the world are we going to miss that hit? That's nuts. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, pa Painted World of Arianus. In a nutshell. Really annoying area. Those crow enemies love to just fight you in that really awful specific spot. I know that that door's over there, but I'm pretty sure that does not lead to the items that I want. Even when we get the key to open it. Okay, we'll give this one more shot here. I swear, there's just a drop. I feel like there's a drop somewhere. Um, Alright, let's try to get back up. So then we go over this way. Is this what it is? Do we not? No, because this still leads to the central area. All right, let's go. Come on. One, and then... Just one that time. Okay, one, and then boop. I thought that was supposed to get... Come on. Okay, I guess we're just going to miss that R2 every single time now. Come on now. Jeez, great scythe. Come on, buddy. I was singing your praises earlier. See, it seems like we're supposed to drop in through there, but it, it's not big enough. It doesn't let you actually drop through. It looks like it's big enough, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I'm just genuinely very... Can we drop through that? Is that what it's supposed to be? That hole right there? Like, is that... Can we drop through if we... What is the intended route here? I feel like I'm going... Cra I feel like I'm going crazy. Uh... See, there's an item there. Yeah, we can just make that jump right there. I'm gonna try it. Great. Great. Oh my god, this item is going to drive me insane. Come on. Alright, let's get back to the top. There's stairs behind. I mean, that would lead to it. But, like, how do we get to those freaking stairs? Ugh. There's no breaks in the wall, as far as I can see, that would lead to that. It's got to be, I guess, just the... Alright, here we go. I figured. All right, see, we can't jump. We can't drop through here. It's just got to be that locked door, I suppose. But I swear to God, I thought it was not that. Okay, let's drop down. And let's get a plunging attack on this guy if we can. Why are you moving over there? Come on, man. All right, we're done. We're done with this place. We'll, we'll try to just go through the locked door and see if that's what leads to it. I don't remember that being what the case was. But I honestly have no other clue how to get up there right now. Okay, we're going to go rest at the bonfire again. We're about to take on a really awful place. That was the biggest jump I had ever seen one of these people do. Jesus. I feel like we're just getting screwed left and right here. Alright. Ugh, suck it up. Because now comes the hard part. Um, did we die twice? Where are my souls at? Where... We had a lot of souls. What happened? Whatever. I'm not going to deal with that just now. We're moving on. We got to get something done here. So we're going to go down this ladder. And this place is awful with a capital A. Okay. Oh, boy. I hate this place. And everybody pretty much does. So if I die here... Just know... That everybody freaking... Yep, 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 yep. Comboed from freaking 100% health to nothing in one attack. And that, in a nutshell, is why everybody hates this place. Right there. Okay, well, our souls are gone. Even Yeah, that was a lot of souls. That's really, really unfortunate. I don't know what even... I don't even... I'm so, like, out of practice right now, I feel like. Ugh. Jesus. Yeah, so those guys. Oh, those guys. Those guys are the bone wheels. And they suck. And they suck really bad. Uh, basically, they will one-hit combo you pretty much, just like you saw. It's total horseshit. It's not fair at all. They will roll into you, and they will combo you until you are dead. It's really dumb. And their hitboxes are also, obviously, really weird and awful. Uh, and there's a ton of them down here as well. Now, you want to search them when you kill them, because they will drop their shields as items. And there's more. I see you. Grab the item, dude. I don't know why. He literally just stood there while I was pressing A to grab the item, and then it lagged me into getting killed. Holy crap. Now I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> this episode is not off to a strong start. Okay. 
Don't even freaking think about it, dude. I'm so done with you. So done with you and your friends. Oh my god, yeah, well, I'm glad I'm at least able to exhibit exactly why the bone wheels are so awful. By the way, I think we did lose a decent amount of souls, and we lost a de Yeah, we did. I don't even know. I thought we picked it up. I I'm not even. I'm so scatterbrained at the moment because of dying constantly. You see, you try to attack. Okay, okay, sure. Yep. You try to attack, and then you get hit by their hitbox, and you can't attack, and then, yeah. These guys are freaking terrible. Okay, we got two more, I think. Nope. Okay, cool. Let's get this guy right now. And we got one more. Do not get near a wall because he will just combo you until you're dead. See you later. Okay. Those guys suck. They're in like two areas in the game, this being one. We'll see them again later on. Alright, now I have to really concentrate because this place actually is a labyrinth. Um, not this room. This room is obviously pretty easy. Liar ahead. Yeah, this room actually is a labyrinth. We gotta watch out. Not this room, this area. So we're gonna take this, Soul of a Brave Warrior, and then I thought... Is this the entrance? Then where does the well lead? I thought you want to go down with the ladder, but maybe I'm wrong. Bone wheel shield. Okay, there we go. I guess they don't drop their shield. They probably have a chance to, though. Okay. So, this is an illusory wall. And now begins the really fun part. And fun is in total quotation marks. This part sucks. This part... Sucks. There are bone wheel enemies everywhere. And because of the layout... You can easily just get destroyed by them. So as soon as you see a bone wheel enemy... You need to kill them immediately. Immediately. When you when you have a safe chance to do so. Annex key. There we go. Okay, that's going to open up, I believe, the locked door. That should lead us to those items that I'm, for some reason, I'm just not able to figure out how to get. Okay, I saw another one down this hallway over here. He's right there. Come on. We need to aggro him. There we go. We need to wait for him to... Okay, we need to wait for him to do that. Try to avoid him, and then find where he goes, and then take him out ASAP. Are you... He backstepped my attack, seriously? Okay. Uh, this key is very important, so make sure to grab that. I would like to finish this area in this episode, but obviously, as I said at the start, like, this is an episode that gives... Or, this is an area that gives me tons of trouble. Man, that's unfortunate. Come on, dude. Really? Oh, I thought it didn't hit. Okay, I was about to really lose my shit if that did not hit. Alright. Uh, I had to full clear it. Of course. We could just leave, but... I do have to full clear it. Which is what we'll do. If I'm not talking as much or if my talking is stilted, it's because... I'm trying to really concentrate here and not have to do this twice. I hate this area so much. So, so, so much. Um, we had a... Okay, so this goes back up the well, as you can see. So, I guess it's just your choice whether you want to start with the ladder or with the with the with the other ladder or with this well area. Um, if you go here, obviously, you're in a much closer quarters immediately. So, it's really up to you. And I think that might be it. Uh, except for this central area here. Yeah, this right here. Okay, now where does this go? Oh, boy. Oh, right. I remember this guy has a... Yes, pyromancy fire surge. That guy has a specific pyromancy that you definitely want to get. Don't miss that. Okay. And I think that's it. I think we full clear this area now. Right? I don't want to miss anything, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's just do one last check, I suppose. Yeah. All right, so let's go up the well, and now we're looking to use the Annex key on the... Where was the well, though? I really need to find a way to, like, remember where I'm going with this type of layout. Um, 
I don't know, man. This stuff is just so tricky for me to, like, remember, you know? Uh, I'm already terrible at remembering just game layouts in general. But then add on top of that the fact that this is literally a labyrinth. Okay, let's not get hit by any of these fellas. And then we got the key for this over here. And now, I don't remember this area, but it better lead to those items. Because I need to get those items. And then we can actually finish this area completely. As long as a certain someone doesn't give me too much trouble. Okay. So let's watch out here. Let's be very, very careful. Where are we, even? Oh, no. He's trying to, he's trying to trick us. We need to kill this guy fast. Okay, back up. Man, that toxic is bullshit. <laughs> that is so stupid. You get toxic no matter, like, what, pretty much. All right, so here's one of the items. Oh, God, the crows. Oh, God, yeah. Forgot how many there are here. Okay, we want to do our AoE. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, give me this first. I'm going to get hit. Okay, let's kill him now because I need to go back and get all that stuff. Even though I had to fall down. Dude. Ugh. Great scythe. Great scythe. Okay. Come on. One more Estus. Use a blooming purple moss clump. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can see. Okay, well, at least we got Velka's set, I believe. Um, you can see exactly why I said that this place gives me so much dang trouble. Now, unfortunately, we have to go back the long way because we fell down. We're going to try to run past all those enemies, though. Okay, then we go up the ladder. Gonna let all these guys spawn and not even worry about them. Uh, there was like two or three more items over there. Yeah, that place is really awful. Oh boy, just like this place. Okay, I know where we're going now. I'm not gonna get lost like I did last time. We're falling down here. Would've been nice if we could've grabbed that, but oh well. Um, then we're going over this way. Okay, then we're going through here. Um, now we need to get to the bottom floor. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my humanities. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one. Not taking any chances here. I really want to beat this area in this episode. Okay, now we're going back to the annex area. Okay, now we have to be very careful. Yeah, I forgot how many bird enemies spawned over there. They are so bad. So, so, so bad. Okay, so up we go. and We still got these crows to deal with. Or just one. Where does that hole go? Okay. See, they get stunned. Okay, and there. Miracle, Vow of Silence, which I which I should have utilized since I was getting destroyed. Now, that is the last item, I believe. Although this goes over there, we're gonna have to check that out. Okay, and then we'll be done. Where does this hole go? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, got a knock at the door. Okay, um, so yeah, where does this hole go? Oh, don't fall through it, GV. It might just lead to our death, and in fact, I think that it does. I am not going to bother with that. Okay, then this goes where... Okay, this was where the... Yeah, but let's circle it around this way in case we missed one more item. Nope, that just goes down there. Okay, we grab the item over here, the set, and now we just need to go a little bit backwards and deal with those toxic dudes. So we're going to take out our blooming purple moss clump because we're probably definitely going to get hit by this. And then this is the last section. Wait, wait, wait. This right here. Okay, so yeah, you did. I, I thought you could get those items early. Boom, Velka's Rapier, great. I thought you could get those items early. I guess I was mistaken. You just go through the Annex door. I don't know why I wasted so much time trying to get those items. I, I figured it was the Annex door, but anyways, this is the last section right here. So stupid. Dark Ember, very important. Man. Okay. Press X. Boom. Alright, I think that's everything. Make sure to get this. Anytime you find an ember, it's obviously used to uh, infuse weapons with a certain something. So, in this case, it is the dark set. Or the, the dark infusion, which I don't remember exactly what that one does or what it is or anything like that. Uh, can I jump over this? Wait. We never even opened up the door. 
Hold on, I think we missed a freaking lever. Oh, you're kidding me, man. You're kidding me, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. I remember what I missed. I, I, I remember... Oh, jeez. I'm, like, so off my game these past episodes. I apologize. Um... Yeah, we missed something. Uh, let's see. Where does this go again? Because we're trying to... Basically, the whole thing that we're trying to do this entire time is open up... Wow, why are you guys in here? Oh, my God. You guys are in awful positions. Whoa, where in the world did you come from, dude? Jeez. Okay, great. The whole thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to open up this right here, this door. And it's still locked because I literally forgot to press a thing, which is what I was looking for when I went to the well. Now, I'm going to try to grab my... I thought I had one more. Yeah, I do have one more. Okay. Oh, this is going to be bad. Let's see. Because everybody's still dead, correct? So, if I can pop this... Okay, now go down the well. Yeah, I apologize, guys. I'm, like, so off my game these past episodes. I know this is a challenging area, but still, jeez. I'm getting hit by, like, everything. Okay, now down here, I missed a freaking lever. I don't know how, because I literally was looking for it. But if we go over here, boom. This one. Okay. And there we are, finally. That's what opens up the door to what you can probably imagine. Well, what you can probably guess, I would say. Now we got about eight more minutes in this episode. And I'm gonna do my absolute best to be really good here. You know what, we need to switch over the gargoyle. Why is he there? You see, like I'm doing terribly, but also, what in the world is... Really? I'm doing terribly, but also, what in the world is happening with these enemies? I swear to God, they're like being the most challenging versions of themselves possible. This guy literally ran up to the well and waited for me to spawn. I can't see where I'm going. Okay. Now we need to return to the bonfire, and we are going to heal up our Estus Flasks and take on the final step of this whole area. Stop. Just stop. And we're going to use the Gargoyle's Halberd, because honestly, the Great Scythe... I don't think it's just going to cut it. So we're going to reset all the enemies. And we are going to rush on over. So now everything has been collected in this entire area. Except for doing one thing. Um, that involves this big hallway in front of us. So wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an easy thing to do. And this also might be a four king situation where I get kind of stuck a little bit. Oh, God. I remember this hallway being tough. And I forget. I forgot exactly why now I remember. Not that it's that tough. Just that, yeah, these guys are... I think there's people in the, in the alcoves, right? Yep, there sure is. Yeah, I don't think it's tough. It's just that um, you try to go through this without taking damage, and these guys make it a little tricky. And, yep, I remember they spawn behind you. And finally, I remember this guy. So just like in Sen's Fortress, you can, uh, you can farm this fella for Titanite. For large Titanite. Which we actually do want to do. Ow. Ow. Uh, you do want... Yeah, we're going to farm this guy for some Titanite. In fact, if this is one of them, that'd be great. Yes, excellent. So yeah, we want to farm him for large Titanite shards so that we can... Um, so that we can fully upgrade our great scythe. I'm not sure exactly how many I need, but I'll I'll check and then I will do that before I leave this area. Okay, so we're down to four Estus flasks, and here we go. One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not.
Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. Thou must return it. This land. I. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is crossbreed Priscilla. She is literally a half human, half dragon, as per her name, crossbreed Priscilla. This is a hard fight. This is one of the hardest fights for me personally on my first playthrough, uh, by far. Like, this one gave me some of the most trouble easily. Now, you don't have to kill her. You can actually just leave. She lets you leave. You can just walk over there and fall off, and you're gone. Fortunately, this is a 100% playthrough, and not only do we need to kill her, but we also need to cut off her pretty little furry tail because there's an item to be had. You'll see why this fight is hard as soon as I start it. But I'm gonna go for the tail right off the bat, and we are killing her, so if you don't like that, look away. I need to cut off her, uh, her tail, and then I'm also going to poison her. I forget if it actually works or not, but if it does, I think there's a special interaction with this fight, uh, and you'll see why. But let's go for the tail. Let's go for the tail. I expected as much from thee. Why does he hurry toward thy... Now we're gonna poison the air. Yep. Okay, so she goes invisible. If you didn't get it, that's the thing. Now, look, uh, look at the snow. See that? We're about to get hit, probably. So you can see where she is based on her footprints in the snow. And the thing that I was saying was that if we can poison her... If we can poison her, uh, you can see the tick and you can see where she is, the tick of the poison, but I'm not actually sure if that's a thing or not. I don't quite remember. Okay, she just attacked there. So yeah, this this whole thing, there, there's a, oh, you can see her. She did get poisoned, look. Yes, you can actually see her now. Check that out. Ow. Okay, so that's the way to do it. Although I can't even... Alright, let's heal up. So yes, okay, I, I remember this. You can actually see where she is based on the poison. There we go, see? And she should... Show herself. There we go. I need your tail. I need your tail. Ugh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. I think one more cut may... It's gonna kill her, though. Ugh, okay, we didn't get the tail. And we got an achievement, defeat crossbred Priscilla. We got twin humanities and how many souls? I don't think we got them yet. Did we get them yet? They're 30,000, okay. So unfortunately you missed out an, on an item. If you cut her tail off, you get an item. Um, unfortunately, we just did too much damage. We just did too much damage. Um, I didn't realize that we already had her down that much. Uh, I didn't think that that was the case at all. So, yeah, this gargoyle halberd is ridiculous. I mean, you could think of this whole area as like a challenge run, because I could have just been using this thing, and it would have, you know, been way better, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised that that actually worked, because I didn't remember if it did or not. And I didn't look that up, I swear. Like, I, I just was like, wait, if we poison her, doesn't it show the tick or something? So that's a little tip. If you use any sort of poison, you can see the poison in the air. It's very faint. Uh, but also the way the, de the devs want you to fight her is pretty much look at the ground and see the, the footsteps uh, to know where she is. This gave me so much freaking trouble the first time that I did it. I, I mean, I'm not kidding. It was awful. Um, it took me so many tries just because I didn't really understand. Oh, there we get the Xanthus set, by the way, since we killed Jeremiah. Uh, and if you drop... No, 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 no! Oh, that's fine. We'll be able to go back. I didn't want to leave just yet, though. I thought we had to actually fall off of our own volition. That sucks. Um, but yes, how the devs want you to fight it is they want you to, um, look at her footsteps in the snow and figure out where she is. But she had way... Oh my god, twice it made the stock... I forgot about that. Yeah, it makes the stock... <laughs> it makes the stock sound effect that all the YouTubers use that don't do. Okay, we get a homeward bone, but we're gonna go right back because I need to farm that fella. Actually, no, we shouldn't, should we? Um, no, in fact, I'm gonna leave because we can farm an easier one at Sen's Fortress. Um, and uh, once again, I guess I'll maybe just show you that because I do want to farm that stuff up so that we can max out this uh, great scythe. Because, man, does it need some damage. So now we can use this bonfire to actually warp. Wait, seriously? Oh. 
Yeah, so now I know why you don't farm this guy. I was wondering why when they mentioned... Excuse me. Ex I was wondering why when they mentioned um, that one guy that you could farm, the uh, the guy with the large Titanite shards, I was wondering why they didn't mention this guy on the bridge, but it's because obviously he's way harder to get to, and B, you have to basically make a run like this every single time. Okay, but ladies and gentlemen, that is the painted world of Ariamis. 100% it. As far as I know, we may have missed like a soul maybe somewhere, but if we did, I'll, you know, be sure to go back and grab it for sure. Um, the only thing we did miss, unfortunately, and we're, and, you know, if you're like, oh, no, it's not 100% playthrough. Look, we're gonna miss something every single playthrough because that's just the name of the game. There's choices for certain items, and on top of that, there's like, you know, there's, there's certain items that after a certain point, you can never get again. Just it, there's it, there's no way to get every single item in one playthrough. I'm getting everything that I can get in one playthrough. Unfortunately, we missed out on the tail weapon. Um, okay, can you like let me heal, uh, please? Unfortunately, we missed out on the tail weapon, dude. Seriously, I, I need to heal because he's gonna kill me in one hit. Another large Titanite shard, please. Nice! Okay, sweet. That's going to make it much easier. Yeah, unfortunately, we missed out on cutting off her tail. Um, you really want to do that right at the start before she starts going invisible because, as you guys saw, then it makes it crazy difficult to cut off her tail. And we literally just did too much damage. Uh, I didn't realize that by the time she reappeared that her health was already lower than half. So, really sucks that we missed that item. There's no way to go at it again. Once you kill her, she's dead for good. Um, so, yeah, that sucks. But, you know, can't really do anything about it. Okay. Well, jeez. That's that, ladies and gents. Um, we're going to end this episode here. Man, that was a rough couple episodes, I got to say. I was really off my form. But once we get the Great Scythe totally upgraded, and again, once I, you know, totally get the hang of using it, um, things should go a bit smoother again. Uh, the Four Kings and Ariamis really are probably my worst areas. I'm trying to think. I'm not going to spoil the next coming up areas, but I'm trying to think after that. Um... There's one area that's really awful. Just, just it's it's bad. Uh, it's it, it's it is my least favorite. If I've said something is my least favorite, it was wrong. Cause actually, the area that I'm thinking of is my least favorite area of the entire game. But luckily, it's kind of a shorter area. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, we'll get back on track, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed these, this week's episodes, and hope you guys are enjoying The Thief Let's Play, um, for Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, if you guys would like to support me, becoming a patron is awesome, and the link is in the description, and also, uh, liking the video always helps. Helps! Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to support me, please consider leaving a like and or becoming a patron over on Patreon. I also stream on Twitch if you'd like to catch me live and come say hello. The schedule is below in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.